All right. So, hello there. Welcome to our training again. This is Coach Team. So, for today's video, I'll be uh, explaining to you how to register your new members and how you can add your accounts, right? So, if you're ready, let's start. Okay. So, for the registration of your new members and adding accounts, it's really easy. Uh, but first, uh, you need to make sure to follow these um these process pr procedure okay these uh important notes first all right so tips when encoding a new member so the first one is always inform your sponsor or your upline before doing an encoding for monitoring purposes all right so just to avoid you know um the the just to avoid any um misinformation let's say all right and the, the flash out all right so we we want to make sure that we won't uh, we won't experience flash out here okay so make sure to uh, communicate with your sponsor first or your upline before doing the encoding okay then also avoid critical days for example uh weekends such Saturday Sunday and Monday all right when encoding because uh you know it, it's uh sometimes you you may experience traffic in encoding. So just avoid the critical days, all right? Uh, encode during lean days for uh, like Tuesday to Saturday or Tuesday to Friday, all right? Then do not delay encoding, okay? Make sure to encode within 24 hours upon receiving the code, okay? Uh, for, to avoid any trust issue with your new member, we highly recommend that you register your new member within 24 hours and then provide them with your username with their username and the password, okay? Then avoid encoding when you're in a hurry or when you are sleepy, oh my. So <laughs> make sure that, uh, you know, you have your presence of mind here because uh, it's really important, especially for positioning your new members, okay? Because once you position them and if you, if you made a mistake, you, we won't be able to transfer them to the position where you want, okay? So it, you need to make sure that the position is correct, the name is correct, the sponsor number is correct, so everything should be correct, all right? Okay, then always double check all entries when encoding. Don't be a trigger happy, all right? So it's somehow connected to number four. Then before encoding, always check the proper placement of the new member, all right? So you need to use your, you need to use your binary graphical here and also your uh, binary um, network, all right? So you need to check on this one before encoding your new member. You need to check on the numbers. Always double check the dealer number of both the sponsor and the placement dealer's number, okay? So, so it's, it, it may be different, okay? Especially if, you're, if you want to spill over uh, your new member to your members, okay? So if it's a spillover, uh, you need to double check the your sponsor number and the placement ID number, okay, and uh, but if it's a direct member and you know it's your first time to have that member on your account, so that will be easy for you. So focus when encoding to avoid errors. All right, okay, so that's the last one. All right, so focus. All right, focus when encoding to avoid errors. All right, so how to register your new member? So basically, here's what will happen. Uh, let me give you an example. Your customer, mem your customer or member buys a package from the office or from the mobile stockist, okay? So what will happen here is that the office or the one of the head office or one of the office or the stockist will give you a code like this. So this is for the silver package. Uh, you will see the, the first letters here are SP, indicating that it's a silver package. Then if it's a gold package, you will see GP. All right, so that's how you can identify which uh, package that the customer or the new member uh, purchased. So a PIN code will be provided for registration of your new member or account. All right, so make sure too that uh, here for this example, uh, as you can see here, this is letter O and then this is zero. Okay, so uh, encoding is quite, the encoding is actually case sensitive. If you see that there's a small O, so that's a letter O, okay? But if you see a big O, so that's not the letter O or the caps or the capital letter O, 
but it's number zero. Okay, so if you see like uh, big characters, it means that those are numbers. Okay, those are numbers. So for example, here, this is not this is not a letter S. Okay, it's not a capital S, but it's number five. All right, then this one. Okay, number one. This is number one. Then this is letter L. All right. So you will see the diff. You need to double check. All right. You need to double check. Uh, to avoid the error in encoding, all right? So if you're experiencing errors in encoding, just make sure to check the characters on it, okay? All right, so how to register your new member, okay? So here's what you need to do. So once you get the code from the office or from the mobile stockist, all you need to do is just to click on your mobile app, okay? Get your customer's information or your new member's information and click on register. Okay, so once you click on register, this is what you will pop up. So you will see the register form. And well, actually, it's really basic. So all you need to do is just to put in the information here. Okay, so just follow the information. For example, the first name is Juanito. The middle name is Masipagrins. Then the last name is Tamadersky. All right, so that's what you just need to do. Uh, make sure, okay, so I have, uh, as, as I have discussed earlier, in our first training, first video, make sure that the that your customer's name is spelled correctly, okay? Because if you misspelled it, well, we you need to do something, okay? You need to request it in our IT, in our admin, to correct the spelling of your customer's name, all right? So there's a fee for that, and you need to contact your sponsor for that one, okay? So please make sure, okay? Please make sure that this is correct. Email address can be misspelled, okay, because you can edit that, all right? If your customer doesn't have an email, no problem, okay? You can just enter no email at email.com or whatever email you want, okay? You can put in your email, your own email if you want, okay? So just uh, your customer, your new member can edit that for you. Mobile number, okay, it's also easy. If your customer doesn't have a phone number, no problem. You can just put in zeros on that. Address, address two, you don't have to put in the complete address, okay? If it's a city address, go ahead. Just put in the city address. No problem with that. Okay. Now, username, all right, this is another, well, this is actually another information that cannot be changed, all right? So username is your lifetime username in Wanapi. So make sure that you know, the, the, the spelling is correct, all right? Whatever username you want, okay? You can put it there. Numbers, name, uh, a combination of numbers or name, alphanumeric, whatever you want, okay? Then the password, well, just please remember the password, all right? So make sure that you you, you create a, an, uh, an easy password for your new member first. For example, in this scenario, uh, the password is opti123456. You can do that, okay, for the meantime so that your new member uh, will remember it easily, okay? Then just uh, enter the confirm password, all right? So it's e easy password. So again, um, don't change your password yet if you don't know how to encode, okay? So don't, don't change it yet. Then sponsor ID number, okay? So for the sponsor ID number, okay? For the sponsor, this is the one who earns direct referral bonus, okay? So please make sure of that one. Please take note of this. The sponsor ID number is the one who will earn the direct referral bonus, okay? Then the binary placement ID number, okay? The binary placement ID number is where the new member is attached, all right? So it is where the new, the new account is connected or will be connected, all right? So if you notice, they are different because uh, this in this scenario, it can be a spillover, all right? It can be a spillover. So just double check on it. Make sure that you know which sponsor ID number you will use and which binary uh, binary placement ID number you will use where you will be, where you will connect the new member, okay? Then just choose left or right, okay? Just choose left or right. And then enter the pin one, okay? So the pin one is the one which is on the left. That starts with the SP, all right, if it's a silver package, and then GP for gold package, etc. All right, so that's the one in the left. The pin two is on the right. 
Okay, so it's this is just a short, um, you know, character. So it's just an example. So basically, all you need to do is just to enter these information. All right, it's really easy. Then choose silver, gold, platinum, or a mobile elite. So here you cannot cheat if it's a you know if it's a gold package or platinum. <laughs> all right, because the system will automatically identify that. Actually, you can identify it if it's a gold or silver or platinum, right? Because you will see the first uh, two characters of the um, left pin. Uh, that's how you will how will you how you will know if it's a silver package if it starts with SP. Okay, then click on accept terms and conditions, and then register. All right, so that's it. It's really easy. So once you uh, just make sure that before clicking on the register, uh, double check if the new member has been properly encoded, right? So please make sure that the name is correct, okay? Again, all right, I'm just uh, trying to remind you, all right, because that's really important. Okay, and also double check the sponsor ID number and the binary placement ID number, all right? Then once it's done, Okay, once it is done, sorry, I'll get back to this one. Okay, once it is done, um, please forward the username and the password to your new member, all right, so they can try logging in. So all you need to do now is just to, well, maybe show this uh, tutorial, all right, send this video so that they can, uh, so that they know how to use the mobile app. Just teach them how to download the app and teach them how to, reg uh, how to log in, all right? Okay, then moving on. Okay, so how to add an account? All right, so for adding an account, again, let me provide you the tips when adding an account, all right? So it's just the same as uh, adding new members. Always inform your upline before adding an account, all right? To avoid flush out, to avoid uh, mis uh, misunderstanding or miscommunication to your upline, to your sponsor. Okay, then avoid critical days, Sunday and Monday, when encoding. Encode during lean days, Tuesday to Saturday, okay? Then make sure to open the main account of the owner, all right? So this is the, the, the different part or the different um, uh, the different info or the different tip from the adding account, or from the adding new account. So for this one, you need to open the main account. So for example, if this is you, you only have one account and you have, if and if you want to add an account, you need to log in to your account, all right? Okay, then avoid encoding when you're in a hurry or when you're sleepy. Always double check all entries when adding an account and don't be trigger happy because this cannot be changed, all right, once you enter it. And before encoding, always check the proper placement of the added account, all right? So the proper placement. And always double check the dealer's number of both the sponsor and the placement's dealer number, okay? Focus when encoding to avoid errors. All right. So let's proceed on, uh, on adding the account. Okay. Adding your account. All right. So for adding an account, so again, we need to log in to your account. So for example, this is you who will who wants to add an account. You only have one account and you purchase an, another silver package so you can get two accounts, right? So you need to log in to your account. So enter your username and your password, then click on login. All right. Now here. What you need to do is to check your username, all right, and your user ID number, all right, there. So again, your user ID, your ID number is the one on the left, and your username is the one on the right, okay? So make sure you are on the correct account to be added, all right? So for, for in this example, this is you, who's the one who's processing the add account. But if you're, if you're a member, wants to add an account and your member doesn't know how to do this, so make sure that you're logged in to your member's account, not yours, all right? Because if you will do it uh, under your account, well, automatic, the ad account will go to your account. So it's it's not going to be your member's account, all right? So let's avoid that, okay? So please make sure to, to log in to the members or to the member who will add an account. All right, so click on accounts, all right? So this is the next step, click on accounts, okay? So once you click on account, all right, just click on add account, all right, there. So once you click on add account, there you go, all right? So just uh, put in the user ID number, okay? 
So here you will see the user ID for the additional account. Um, please make sure to change this if it's uh, if if you want to make it if you want it organized, all right? Because what you will see here first is the you know there will be a number on on the right uh, on the last character on it. So for example here, if you notice the the number one or the main account's username is this. JM Tamaderski, all right? So that's the main main account's username. Now for the second account, this is what you will see, all right? So maybe to avoid the confusion, I suggest if you will be adding your second account, just change the number one to number two, okay? So sorry for my drawing because I'm using a mouse and it's really hard to draw. <laughs> all right, so just to avoid the confusion or if you want it more organized, uh, instead of number one here, uh, change it to number two all right you can change that you can change that okay so change it to number two all right then enter the sponsor id number the sponsor id number again is the one who will get this the direct sponsor or direct referral bonus all right then the binary placement number is the number where it will be attached okay okay the position all right so uh, then choose whatever position you want is it is it left or is it right Okay, then enter the pin one and the pin two. Okay, so that's easy. All right, so this is really easy. Adding accounts are really easy, but make sure that you're logged in to the person who will add the account or you will add, who will add the account, all right? So that's one thing that you need to make sure. So then tick on the terms and conditions, all right? Tick box and click on register okay so double check all entries first then click on the register button all right that's it it's really easy right <laughs> okay so how to upgrade okay now this is the part which is really easy too okay so how to upgrade an account all right so we're done with adding account okay this is adding account now let's go to the upgrade account all right so for the upgrading the uh, for the account upgrade so technically you need to register or you need to log in to your account. So if you're the one who wants to upgrade, okay. So for example, you're on this, you're in the silver account, and you want your, uh, you purchased a mobile stockist account, and you want you want to upgrade your silver account to the mobile to to, to the mobile stockist. Okay, so all you need to do is just to log in to your account, right? So enter your username, your password, click on login, and that's it, right? Now here, once you go to the these uh, menu or on the menu, all right, make sure you are on the correct account to be upgrade, upgraded. Okay, so please take note of that. All right, there you go. Okay, so click on the accounts button again. All right, click on the accounts button, and then here you will see the upgrade account. All right, so there, it's really easy. Okay, so all you need to do is just to click on upgrade account. Then once you click on upgrade account, uh, just enter the pin one or the pin two. Okay, for example, you are uh, you want you will be upgrading your account to the mobile elite. All right, so mobile stock is what you will get is a code starting with ME. Okay, so mobile elite there. So just enter that, enter the codes, then choose mobile elite. All right, and then click on the upgrade account. Okay, that's it. Okay, so it's really easy. This is my favorite, <laughs> upgrading the account. Okay, it's really easy. And there, all right. So just click on submit and you're done. All right, there. So it will only confirm if you're upgrading the correct account, all right? So again, just make sure that you're on the correct um, account, all right? You're on the correct account. So just take note of that and everything will just go smoothly. Okay, so that's how it ends. That, that's how you upgrade, you add, uh, your your account, your new member, or yes, account upgrade. Okay, that's how you do it, all right? So it's really easy. So on the next video, I'll be teaching you how to encode your uni level bonus, all right? So please ask your sponsor if you have any further questions, all right, regarding adding account, creating the account, uh, or you can comment down below uh, if you need some more information or help about this. So see you on the next training video, and thank you so much for watching.